how much you could save if you simply adjusted your spending habits. It's a question we've all asked ourselves at one point or another. But the answer is not as elusive as it might seem. In fact, it's right here, in this video. We'll teach you 10 simple yet effective tips that can help you save money quickly and efficiently. First tip, set a no spend challenge. Now, you might be wondering, what's a no spend challenge? Well, it's as straightforward as it sounds. It's a commitment you make to yourself, a pledge not to spend money on non-essential items for a set period of time. This could be a day, a week, or even a month. The duration is entirely up to you. The beauty of the no spend challenge is that it urges you to rethink your spending habits. You begin to understand the difference between wants and needs. You start to realize how much you spend on little things that add up over time. It's a practical way to curb impulsive buying and save money swiftly. Moreover, it's a fun, self-imposed challenge that can turn into an enlightening experience. It's not about depriving yourself, but about learning to spend wisely. So, are you ready for the challenge? Next, unsubscribe from marketing emails. Now, we all love a good deal, right? But it's important to remember that not every discount or sale is a golden ticket to savings. In fact, these seemingly tempting offers can lead us down a path of unnecessary spending. Every time we get a marketing email, it's like a little nudge nudging us to buy something we probably don't even need. It's a clever tactic, and it works, but only if we let it. So, what's the solution? Unsubscribe. Yes, it's as simple as that. By unsubscribing from these emails, you take away the temptation. No more nudges, no more unnecessary spending. Just think about it, if you don't know about the sale, you won't spend the money. It's a small step, but it can make a big difference in your savings. Clear your inbox and clear your mind from temptation. Tip number three, always use a shopping list. Now you might be thinking, a shopping list, really? But believe me, this simple tool can be your greatest ally in the war against impulse buying. When you walk into a store without a plan, you're like a ship without a compass. The aisles become a sea of temptation, filled with items you don't need, but suddenly can't live without. But with a shopping list in your hand, you're not just a shopper, you're a money-saving explorer on a mission. Creating a shopping list before you venture into the store helps you focus. It's a roadmap to your purchases, guiding you to the items you need and steering you clear of those you don't. It's not about denying yourself treats. It's about making thoughtful decisions rather than letting the store's layout or marketing tricks decide for you. Now let's look at reducing your utility bills. A brilliant way to save money is by making small changes to how we use utilities. For instance, turning off lights when you leave a room. It's a simple habit that can lead to significant savings over time. Next, consider unplugging electronics when they aren't in use. Many devices like your television or computer still draw power even when switched off. This phenomenon, known as phantom power, can account for up to 10% of your energy bill. So unplug those gadgets and watch the savings add up. Also be conscious of your water usage. Shorter showers, turning off the tap while brushing your teeth, and only running full loads in your dishwasher or washing machine can help lower your water bill. Remember, saving on utilities isn't just about cutting costs. It's also a great way to reduce your environmental footprint. So, go ahead, start these practices today, and see the difference in your next bill. I hope you're enjoying this video. Please like and subscribe for more content to help you achieve financial freedom. Tip number five, plan your meals. A little organization can go a long way, especially when it comes to your food budget. Planning your meals for the week allows you to buy exactly what you need from the grocery store, reducing the chances of food waste. And let's not forget about the lure of takeout. How many times have you found yourself ordering food because there's nothing to eat at home? By planning your meals, you'll always have a delicious homemade dish at your fingertips. But it's not just about saving money. It's about taking control of your food habits. It's about embracing healthier options, exploring new recipes, and enjoying the satisfaction that comes from a well-cooked meal. It's about transforming your kitchen from a place of stress and uncertainty into a hub of creativity and nourishment. Next up, consider cancelling your cable TV. Yes, you heard it right. The era of cable TV is fading, and it's time to jump on the bandwagon of change. The average cable TV bill can range anywhere from $50 to over $100 per month. That's a significant chunk of change that could be padding your savings account instead. Now you might be thinking, but I love my shows, and that's fair. 
But think about the alternative options available. Streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime offer a vast array of shows and movies at a fraction of the cost of cable. Even better, you can watch them on your own schedule. No need to plan around TV time slots. There's also the bonus of avoiding those pesky cable commercials. So, you not only save money, but also your precious time. Tip number seven, create a budget. Now you might be thinking, budgeting, that sounds like a lot of work, but hear me out. Creating a budget doesn't have to be complicated or time consuming. It's simply about knowing where your money is going. It's about being in control. Think of a budget as a roadmap for your finances. It helps you see what you're spending on, where you can save and what you can afford. It's about making conscious decisions, not just about cutting back. Start by listing your income sources and expenses. Be honest with yourself. No expense is too small to track. Once you've got a clear picture, start allocating your income towards your needs, wants and savings. It's not about depriving yourself, it's about making informed decisions. Be consistent, be disciplined, and before you know it, you'll see a difference in your financial health. Tip number eight, cook at home. Now this may seem like a simple tip, but it's one of the most effective ways to save money. Eating out at restaurants or ordering takeaways can certainly be tempting, but it often comes with a hefty price tag. When you cook at home, you're in complete control. You can choose budget-friendly ingredients, plan your meals around what's on sale, and make large batches of food to freeze and eat later. Plus, cooking at home has the added bonus of being healthier, as you know exactly what's going into your meals. Think about it. A homemade meal can cost less than a quarter of what you'd pay for a restaurant dish. Over time, the savings can really add up. So why not dust off that old cookbook and try your hand at some new recipes? You might be surprised by how much you enjoy it. Tip number nine, sell unused items. Now, let's talk about a simple yet effective way to not only declutter your spaces, but also to make some extra money. It's time to let go of those items that are just collecting dust in your closets or garage. Think about that guitar you bought with the intention of becoming the next rock star, or those rollerblades that haven't seen daylight since the last decade. These unused items are potential gold mines waiting to be tapped into. Platforms like eBay, Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace are excellent avenues to sell these items. It's like hosting a virtual garage sale, but without the hassle of setting up tables in your driveway. And remember, one person's trash is another person's treasure. You'd be surprised at how much people are willing to pay for something you deem useless. So why not give it a shot? Finally, track your progress. As you embark on this journey to save money fast, it's essential that you keep an eye on your progress. Just as a ship captain needs a compass to navigate the vast ocean, you too need your own compass in the form of tracking your savings. This can be as simple as jotting down your savings each month in a notebook, or using an app to stay on top of your finances. Seeing your savings grow, even by small amounts, can be incredibly rewarding and motivating. It gives you a sense of accomplishment, like you're winning a game. And who doesn't like to win, right? Moreover, tracking your progress helps you spot trends and patterns. You could discover that your electricity bill drops significantly when you're more mindful of turning off lights, or that planning your meals helps you avoid those pricey last-minute takeouts. Now, it's your turn. Use these strategies and start turning your financial situation around. It's not about depriving yourself. It's about making smart choices. You've got this. Start saving money today and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we release more money saving tips.